Alright, so in this video I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do to get the power turned on permanently because this map is a lot different to the other maps you played before. So, you want to spawn in and there'll be a bucket in the spawn room. Uh, you can see it's pretty easy to spot shining blue. Uh, there's others around the map in each area if you are doing it with other people but you only need one to get the power turned on. Basically you just want to make your way to one of the two laboratories A or B. Doesn't matter which uh, one you do first, just go to one of them and you will be able to turn on the power partially. It only lasts three minutes or so and you can do this by filling it up with water. You can see the area I'm in right now on the floor is green looking water and that's element 115 contaminated so you want to fill up your bucket with that, head up to the building that has the generator in there and you can fill it up and there's two of these to do so once you've filled up the first one like so, go across to the other side in the other laboratory uh, you can use the same water spot if you want to but there's one each side so it doesn't really matter too much and once you have both of them turned on it should be done by about round 5 or 6 it does take a lot of points so just save them up and do it when you can now if you don't know where the bunker is, it's in between both the laboratories if you look on the map you'll easily find it but uh, above a door is uh, two lights if they're both green, which they should be then you'll be able to open this door and carry through but if there's one that is red or even both red it means the power has turned off and you have to go redo it again let's make sure you have them both turned on and open this door by the bunker uh, a few zombies are going to spawn now, so kill them. Yeah, there might even be two thrasher zombies, the big ogre looking things, so kill them and continue on through. Now, the first door you come to on your left is the one you want to open now. It costs 1.5k, there's so many points needed, but this is the last door you're going to have to buy. Now, you definitely do need a gun for this part, so if you haven't got one, go and get one. And you will see the power switch is actually on the wall over here. But one of the lights is flashing red, so we need to get the part to fix it. Behind you is a pool of water. Down the left will be a web that you have to slash. Do this and now prepare yourself. There are two pockets where you can just jump up and get air. You're going to need to do this a few times while you're doing it, but basically, 10 zombies are going to spawn in, and you just have to kill them. Once you've done that, making sure you use your little air pockets, you will need them. Uh, go back to where you slash the web and you can now pick up the part to put into the power and switch it on. And that is pretty much all we need to do to turn on the power permanently. It is a long process and a lot different to what we're used to in Call of Duty Zombies. But once you've done it once or twice you will get a hand of it and it is pretty easy to do. So, hope this guide has helped you. And I have many more guides on my channel as soon as I am done making them so in the link in the description if you want to check them out it will be those videos well I'll see you very soon Darling, I